everyone, it's Linda from Filmin Studio back with another card making tutorial video for you today. This is the card I'm going to be making today and I'm going to be changing it up a little bit, changing the colours and I'll tell you a bit more about that when we get to the actual card making. But let me show you the items I'm using. So I'm going to be using the um, Forever Greenery Suite from the new Stamping Up catalogue and that has got this lovely stamp set, Forever Fern, these beautiful, beautiful images. And this is what we call a distinctive stamp set. And I'll explain a bit more about that when I'm stamping. So apart from the images and my favorite little spots and splatters, uh, some very nice sentiments. And then I've got a matching die set. These cut out all of the stamped images. And then there's loads of extras as well, big fern leaves and little baby leaves and berries, just all sorts of things to be playing with. So that's that, that's that. Now the other thing I'm going to be using is this little embossing folder. Uh, the eagle-eyed amongst you will have noticed that we have new die cutting machines. Um, the big one is available to buy. The small one, which is the one I want because I already have two big ones, um, is not yet available, but the, as soon as it is, I'm for it. And I was recently asked about die cutting on video, why didn't I show it? And the reason is, you know, um, the old big shot is an awfully heavy thing to be lifting in and out. So as soon as I get my new machine, which is going to be smaller and neater, I'll do some die cutting videos and um, talk a bit more about it. But in the meantime, there are two embossing folders in the suite and they're both quite quite small to go through this mini machine. They are three and, the, three and a half inches. So I have, I hope you can see, I've already popped a piece of Whisper White paper through and embossed it. So that's given me some nice leaves. So here is my original card and I'm going to change it up. Um, as you know, I'm on a mission to see if I can use my non-Christmas stamp sets to make Christmas cards and my Christmas stamp sets to make non-Christmas cards, trying to get as much mileage out of a set as I possibly can. So I have changed the colourway. I had used Melon Mambo on this. So this is Poppy Parade and my usual measurements. I've got an A6 card base, a Whisper White mat, and then here is my embossed piece ready to go on. And I've got a tiny little strip of the designer series paper that goes in the suite. Um, I have already cut this up into kits for this month's card class, of which more later. So I'm now using up the, uh, the scraps and I'm just looking to see, of course I can't find it. Bear with me. Here it is. This is the page that features the suite and here are the papers and I'll hold it up a bit closer for you so you can see. They're really lush, they're just gorgeous. So as I say, I have got a one inch strip um, and that's going to go on there. So to the stamping, I've got my stamping mat, piece of scrap paper and just a piece of Whisper White. Um, it was an A4 that I've cut into half, give me plenty of room to stamp with. So to start with, I'm going to use the big, biggest of the, the leafy stamps and I'm going to stamp that in garden green. Now I happen to have lost, mislaid my big stamp pad, but I've got this little spot, so that will do me. And of course, if you're using a small ink pad, you need to take it to the stamp um, rather than trying to stamp that way. So I am going to ink up this way around and I'm just going to be putting these on so that I leave room for the dies to fit around them. I'll show you that for the person who wants to know about die cutting. Here we are. This is the die that's going to go around this one. So obviously I just need to leave myself enough space so that the next image doesn't get chopped off. So let's put that one 
there. So that's that. Oh, I did that in garden green. Then I'm going to use this one and I'm going to use pear pizzazz. No, I'm going to use old olive. Very similar colours. The old olive is just that wee bit darker. And let's see where I can fit these in. Okay, that's enough of that. Then I've got shaded spruce. These are all colours that are contained in the paper. And I'm going to do a few of these. Now this one comes with a mirror image, so let's do that. Lovely. And then finally, 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 I am going to use my poppy parade and stamp the berries in that. Okay, I've got a bit of space, so let's just use it up here. Um, I know I've got lots of lots of berries pre-cut. Let's just put in another one of these. I like this one. Oh, I'm off my mat. Oh well. That'll be all right. Good. So I am just going to hold this up for you now. So this is what you get when you use the distinctive set. You get this real detail in the stamps, the shade, shading and light, um, rather than that sort of blocky thing that you would quite often expect to see from a, a plain stamp. Absolutely beautiful detail. So I need to die cut these out and I have done that off screen already. So let's bring all the bits in. Oh, one more bit of stamping. Um, I'm going to make a Christmas card. So I've got a little Christmas sentiment. It's from a retired set. Um, not yet ordered my current Christmas items, but I will. And I'm using my little doily again. And it's got, if I put it on the red, you'll see, see how it's got these little peaky bits. So I'm actually going to line my stamp sentiment up with the the two pointy bits there and hopefully it'll be straight. Sorry if my head gets in. Oh, there we are. Christmas in July. Who'd have thought it? So that is going to go there. And of course, remember, that's my little favourite, one of my favourite little dies from the Painted Poppy set. And I've just teamed it with a stitched label die. So that's that one and that one. OK, um, let's get the main card. Oh, let's stamp something inside it. Nearly forgot. Let's take the old olive. And let's stamp, I think we'll stamp this one. And I'm just wondering about putting a few berries in. Shall we put a few berries in? Let's think. Maybe just... Maybe a bit more green. I like 
that. Let's see what we think. Yeah, I'm going to leave that like that. Right, that is now all of my stamping done, hopefully. Get all of those out of the way and bring in the glue, which as usual I haven't checked. Yeah, it's working. Always a plus. So, sorry about the sleeves. It's <laughs> mid-July. It's as dark as pitch outside. I think it's going to thunder at any moment. I'm, I'm cold. Right. So here is the front of the card. I'm going to stick the embossed piece on there. do and then I'm going to put my strip of paper now decision time and I think I like I like the original and there is an up and a down on this that's it so make sure you get your orientation right And your leaves are not defying gravity. Okay, that's a little bit squint, but I'll not worry about it. Let's get the inside in. My little pot. Okay. Oopsie, that's all right. I can live with that. So I have now got all of these beautiful, beautiful items all cut out. So let's scatter and see. I think two of those. Probably three of those and three or four of those. Let's get them going. Two going that way, maybe, and yeah, two going that way. And I've got some extra bits if I want them. And I have already glued my sentiment up there. Right. So I think the first thing I want to do is take that and put it there. Ah, here's the thing. I'm going to put my sentiment off center so it's going to be across the join there. So here's a trick. Here's the bit of card I cut it out from. If I lay that over there and grab a pencil and I just, I'm going to go well inside it, but just Make a very light pencil mark. I don't even know if you can see it. Can you? It's there, trust me. Then if I make sure that all my stems land somewhere in that stencil, uh, stencil, in, in pencil mark, it will be covered. So now it's just a matter of arranging things to please yourselves. I'm thinking about um, the letter Z. Sorry, let me just, I'm just going to cut, cut that stalk off there. That's it. Go in there. Um, when we read, we read from left to right and top to bottom. So your eye naturally follows a Z. Um, so if you kind of think about that as you're designing your layout, it should should work and be pleasing for you. 
Okie dokes. So I think I had in some of these. Yeah, that's okay. I think I want that one to go in under there. I haven't, very deliberately, haven't glued right to the edge of these. I've got room to move them about. I think I like that, so let's go for it. Let's commit. And as I say, I'm not gluing all the way to the edge, and that way I've got room to tuck things under. There we go. Yeah. Okay, so now we've got some dark ones that we can put in. Maybe one there. I'm just going to lay these down now and see what I think. Quite like that. But I won't completely commit until I've got my Got my berries ready to go, so I know I want a berry to go there. Yeah, don't like that. Berry there. Coming in maybe here. And across here. Which really means these dark ones are in the right, wrong place, aren't they? Let's go down further with that. That's it. This is working and I'm just thinking actually to put a wee bit of this dark over so there's a separation between the red, the two reds, if that makes sense. Oop, about there. Yes, yes, that's what I want to do. Put in another one here. How's that looking? Not bad. Not too bad. Hmm. Not 100% convinced by that. Let's mess about for a little bit longer. Ah. Ah. That I like. I'm going to stick those down before I change my mind. mess about with these for hours so you know eventually you do have to just say right I'm committing not to that I'm not <sighs> blah, 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 blah. there yeah there I like that one okay Maybe there. Yeah, that'll do it. That'll do it. Uh, 
Okay, let's get that one on. I'm um, not being terribly careful with my gluing because I want to speed things along for you. That one's there and that can go up on dimensions. Oh, now, do we want anything else? sort of starting to look more wreath-like now. It's not, not quite what I set out to do, but never mind. So it's always worth stamping and cutting out more, more things than you think you need. So then you can add them in or just stick them on the next card. What do we think of that? I need to just hold it out my way for a minute. Yeah, I think, I think I might be going to call that done. <sighs> mm -hmm. Yes or no? Yeah, needs, needs a little bit of balance, doesn't it, on the bottom? Get in there. I think we'll call that done. We'll just pop some dimensionals under the sentiment bit there. Try and make sure it's straight. I think it is. So, we'll call it done. I am actually really pleased with that. And what an interesting contrast. I actually like the Christmas one better. I think I like the fact that the um, sentiment is the lettering smaller. Maybe I'm not sure, and I do feel that that needs just something like maybe another ribbon or hold on while we've got this here. I'm not entirely convinced about that, but the beauty, of course, of popping these up on dimensionals is you can always add bits. So I'm going to call them done anyway. Um, yeah, I feel quite Christmassy now. So thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.